everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. And last week I did a little video and at the end I asked about opinions on keeping the crafts on this channel or starting another craft channel. So I think that to make it easier for everything, including me, well mostly me, is to just do everything on one channel. This is my channel and I'll, I'll title them aptly so that if you choose not to watch them then you can not watch them. But um, I, I finished another mini album. This one is shortly going to be available on my Etsy store. Okay, so I need to take a moment of a break. Um, as I was saying, I frequent Tuesday morning and I always check about once a week over there because they get new shipments all the time. And for those of you who don't know what Tuesday morning is, it's like an odd lot store. Um, kind of like TJ Maxx or Marshalls Big or whatever, huh? Big Lots. Or Big Lots. Um, but they tend to have a little higher end stuff than Big Lots. But um, they've been getting, uh, for any of you who are scrappers, you will know that the name Graphic 45. And you also know that this is Graphic 45 paper. Uh, I was very fortunate to happen upon a big closeout of Graphic 45 paper in the bulk packages where there were 24 sheets in a package and it was a very, very good price. And those of you who are scrappers know that Graphic 45 paper is beautiful, it's very high quality, and it can tend to be pricey. Um, this was a huge coup. I was able to get three collections, almost complete. I was able to get this one, which is on the boardwalk, Proper Gentleman, and the La Romantique collection. I am I am holding out hope that this week when I go, I will find Steampunk Debutante, and if I do, I will like pee my pants, I swear. Okay, so... And I have no idea what she's saying. And he doesn't have any idea what I'm saying. But anyway, as soon as I got this board, on the boardwalk paper, um, my friend Fran over at Makeup Addict Forever, who also has started a new crafting website called Two Shabby Sisters Studio, um, and they do, they do swaps and challenges over there, and they have a little store on Zibit, but... Um, she did, uh, she was doing a travel journal where she did the page style that I've decided to use in here, and I love it. But um, this is just, uh, I constructed this whole album from scratch. I made the covers with chipboard, I covered it with the paper. This on the boardwalk paper is absolutely fabulous and beautiful. And I wanted this to be quite simple, I didn't want it to be uh, really blinged out. Um, so there's a lot of tags, a lot of opportunity in here for photographs, but... How, how did your mother put it? My mother looked, my mother saw it before I had finished it, before I had put the things on the cover. She said, I like it plain the way it is, but then you're going to put all the crap on it and make it ugly. I disagree, mm -hmm. but I, I was somewhat reserved when I did my cover. Uh, I didn't want it to be... All that complicated and that's because this is supposed to be a beach album this is supposed to be about summer fun so the way I did the front is I wanted it to look like you came home and emptied your pockets and you'll see that I used some bottle caps and I took uh, I took punches out of the paper I put it in the bottle cap and then I put glossy accents which is um, a sort of adhesive and um, when it dries clear it gives it a completely clear enamel finish so these are actually embedded in the, in the bottle caps. I've got a few seashells, some ribbon flowers and pearls. And, and these tickets were actually a border on part of the paper. I actually fussy cut these out. And in, in, in between, you know, where the tickets separate, I took my hole punch, a very small hole punch, and meticulously went down each one and did a half a punch so it looked like a real strip of tickets. But um, I just had a blast making this. These two stick pins are from a package of ladies papery um, that I got uh, that there were several in the package these two I thought were the most appropriate but I'm gonna give you a look at the inside I just love this paper I think it's incredible excuse me Miss Tally really? um, there's two of these when I when I got to the end I used 12 sheets of paper in total including what I used for, for the covers um, but this is just a little folio that's on the end. I made two of these, and one sheet of the paper comes with these fabulous old uh, photos from the 20s, and this whole paper line is inspired by that. Um, but if you open this up like that, there's 
I had two distressed tags in there. There's room for photographs here, or journaling here, however you want to do it. But that just slips right in there. There's also a large photo mat here, just with a little tag. I just love these tags. Wow, it is just active and crazy in my house this morning. Mm -hmm. And I love this. I could not not put this in the album. You can mm. stick a photograph on the back side of that. She's hot. She's hot? Yeah, well... Okay, there's another one of those folios here, and I just made a little pocket for the corner, and I stuck it in. And then each page has several tags. Every page has a shipping tag. I buy these at Staples, and I just distress them and use them however I like. The rest of these tags I made by hand, just out of some cardstock or part of the paper line. Um, and then a lot of them are decorated with pieces from the paper line. Um, <clears throat> on these shipping tags, on some of them I put these little tags that came in the <clears throat> in the punch out sheet and um, use colorful brads. But every page set, there's one side that has a large photo mat, and then there's just the regular tags that I put on here. Oh, I forgot to show you this part. E these are pocket pages, <clears throat> and each page is made from one sheet of paper and then these are some photo mats that open up you can put pictures you can there's lots of opportunity for pictures and journaling here and then they just slip inside the page pocket but I just think this paper line is incredibly beautiful and <clears throat> so much fun I you know here there's this this little this was an Anna Griffin um, embellishment set that I got and it just opens up and it's a little journaling book it's nothing you know it's nothing totally fancy but it's just cute I thought that's just a little extra interactive embellishment that you can put on there and then you just tie it up but you know the the, the uh, embellishments that came in these uh, in this paper line are absolutely great uh, I did do a little border punch on some of these tags I distress everything in Tim Holtz uh, vintage photo distress ink and there's uh, another photo mat there I love that um, some of them are simple and some of them are a little more detailed there's this one. I just love this one. And then I did just, a, I don't want to pull it all the way out. I'll just go ahead and do it. Um, <clears throat> I just thought this was so beautiful. There's some bling swirls there and some tags. And I have to take a minute and let's spooky outside because it's not going to be quiet. <clears throat> um... Let's see and look at, I mean, I just love these old photographs. I actually went trolling online in case I needed some extras and I didn't end up needing anything extra. They had a whole sheet that was old fashioned advertisements like this. Let's see here. This is an advertisement for men's boys and toddlers swim trunks. <laughs> I just think it's so much fun. All the old photographs and and I, this is a sh part of that sheet of paper. Oh boy, it just never ends, does it? You can't all go out at the same time. Nope. Yeah. It's never dull and boring in my house, that's for sure. We live in a zoo. We do live in a zoo and it's of our own making. We bought and these are, um, these are just tickets I bought at the local discount. It was, uh, I call it the discount grocery. It's kind of like a bulk privately owned grocery store. These are just the regular tickets and the rolls of tickets were like, I mean, you're like a thousand tickets for like four bucks. So I picked up a roll of red ones and white ones and I stuck them in my craft cabinet and every now and then when you want a ticket, you just pull it off and distress it or do whatever you want with it. Here's another page. The tags are fabulous and give you lots and lots of opportunity. And here is another, I love this particular um, photo mat 
this is actually three separate photo tags that I matted on that photo mat. So, and then this is just a piece from the advertising page that they included. And then because it is graphic 45 paper, they actually had a little punch out. I know it's a little advertisement and brand, but I stuck that on there just for fun. And then there's the last page, which I think is super fun also. And then this tag back here I actually made so that you could actually slip a photo in. And um, there's also these pockets that I put in here. I did not paste them all the way down on the top. So there's actually a double pocket back here. I like to be able to stick things in the back of my album. So <laughs> if there are like things in weight or maybe I don't know where, know where to put it quite yet. So that... And then of course on the back I have my, this is my label that I made. This is um, created by Noreen Mockingbird Designs and then I signed the label so that you know that it is an original. Okay, that is my On the Boardwalk album share and um, give me a day or so. I will have this up on my Etsy store if you are interested in purchasing this uh, for yourself. And uh, are you or, Northeasterners? Or just go ahead and uh, and uh, look at the pictures that I post over there. So, I hope you enjoy this. I hope that it inspires you to create something. It doesn't have to be a mini album. It doesn't have to be a scrapbook. It can be anything that makes your heart happy. So, until next <coughs> time. Oh. <coughs> Tally and I will see you. Tally says bye. Bye.